G'day everyone, I'm finally back uh, at home with internet and um, I just thought I'd start off with um, the trade house. I'm about to do a test between um, uh, two boss rush or um, league mechanic rush um, strategies uh, versing my filthy forest against against the Grove of Calamity, which is in Thunderwaste. Apparently it's really fast, so I'll give that a crack in a bit. Um, however, I just wanted to go over a couple of little things on the auction house. As you can see, I have been buying Flame Dust. Why Flame Dust, you may ask? Well, if you look at the price of um, fuel, Flame Sand, which is the main ingredient for uh, crafting. It's about um, 18 FE for 999, so 999 divided by 18. So that's 55 to 1 uh, if you buy uh, these ones, or that's one 17, 17, that's 58, or 60 to 1. Um, one, f one flame elementium will get you 60 flame sand. However, as you can see, I just have these hardly ever sell. The 10 for 1250 flame sand, which is a lot better than 60 to 1. Or these ones, 30,000 flame dust for 10 flame elementium. Now it's clear to me that bots are probably selling this, but I don't care because I just want the flame sand. Now, after tax, you get um, 26,250. Uh, flame dust, 26, 250 divided by 20, which is what the um, exchange rate at the trader is from flame dust to flame sand, will get you 1,312 flame sand, which divided by 10 is 131.25 to 1 flame elementium. So that's a very good way of getting a whole bunch of um, flame sand if you want to do some crafting. Um, another thing that I did, this, this one's a little bit old, it's the 17th of uh, September that this sold. However, the way of doing this still stands. Now, you can go to the trade house, you go down to gear blueprints, go across to the Crown of Ordrak, search, and just filter it by price of 70. Now, it takes five of these to make one Fiend Crown. So, you just buy five of these for uh, up to 70. So, let's just go to my collection. We have, uh, here we have 69, 70, 65, 60, and 64. So a ground total of 328 flame elementium will get you one fiend crown. Now, if we just go to uh, Int Helmet, Fiend Crown, we can see that unidentified fiend crowns, 520, I saw one for 480 before, so 480. Now, 480 after tax, so you pay one eighth in tax. That takes the profit down to 420 um, flame elementium after tax. So now we have 420 minus uh, 328, which was the cost. That's a profit of 92 flame elementium. If you were to just simply buy all five of these, I'm not going to do it, so someone else can do it if they like. And then just list it up for sale for um, 480 flame elementium or 479. Take one less flame elementium in profit and um, yeah, you'd be good to go. An easy 91 flame elementium. Obviously, you have to have 328 flame elementium to do this. However, this league, that's not that much of an ask. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit. And I've got a whole bunch of flame dust, uh, a whole, whole bunch of flame dust. So as I said, you just sell 10 flame elementium for 30,000 flame dust. 
And honestly, you get a couple of these a day. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then you just trade it all for uh, flame sand. So that's an extra 1300 flame sand that I have to craft with. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my reception while I was gone was absolutely garbage. So I was unable to play. And um, yeah, so now that I'm back, I can start making videos again. And I wanted to test out um, Thunder Wastes, time mark 7.2. And ooh, what's this? That's interesting. Uh, Grove of Calamity is the one that I was uh, recommended. So let's go in and see how long this takes. Um, where is it? I was told it's often near the start, although if this is all... <coughs> so I have had the Cube of Rapacity proc here. So I'll probably clear this map and uh, see how the Cube of Garbage uh, treats me. Uh, so I will do, it is right at the start here, which is really awesome. Um, so let's do this. What's my map? Ugh, not epic. Let's do A4 and see what we get. Probably screwed. I can't remember if that was good or not. So we'll clear this. <coughs> Easy one. So while I was away, all I wanted to do was play this, but I couldn't because my internet was utter garbage. I was hoping to have unlocked Endless uh, City so I could give that a crack, um, but I was not so lucky. Damage seems okay. No page, unlucky. I'm going to clear this and we'll... I'll see you at the crib. I now see why this one is really good. That is the entire map. That is super linear and super fast. That is actually crazy. So even though I had 100% of enemies uh, transformed, it's still only 200, which is pretty nuts. This is going to be garbage as a result. So that was super fast. Let's uh, open this up again. Do another couple. I'll make sure I keep just ticked over eight minutes. Get in there before I die. Uh, let's do another four. Hopefully we, I think that's good. Um, we'll see in a second. I always try and do fours now that I have a couple of um, tiles to use. Um, just because it's faster and you can generally get enough um, bonuses to uh, extra tiles to complete a decent uh, city. I'm guessing that anyone that has watched my other boss rush video um, is probably further than this than me than uh, further <laughs> into this than me now. So that's just gone over one minute. I've stuffed around a little bit. Um, I'm not really paying that much attention. I was screwed. I <laughs> thought it was going to get that. Uh, ah, it doesn't even get that. <sighs> Those two suck, so that's fine. Um, let's go up, kill the boss. I'm not really a huge fan of avoiding the boss because I want to kill... Um, I should double check to see the cost of defeating... Um, the Plane Watcher. So when you defeat the Plane Watcher, you get a couple of uh, beacons, etc. However, this 
seems pretty chill as well. Um, that was two minutes with me just crapping on. And uh, yeah, so that's super fast actually. My build's not a super duper fast build. Um, I play it just because I enjoy it. Got a couple of uh, beacons there. Got another one, preview. I should do a big one for there. Um, let's do that. Just to connect everything together. Looks like we got screwed over a little bit there as well. Uh, waves, I still hate the waves. Although that seemed a lot faster than it used to be. Maybe I just got lucky. Lucky twice in a row. Did the ghost still take you forever? No page. That one took a little bit longer. Yeah, the ghost is still annoying. Alright, shame. <laughs> oh well, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Ugh, this ghost. And that should be that one done. That one took a little bit longer. But yeah, so that's two minutes um, and a death. Ugh, why'd it spawn me so far back? It spawned me at the boss room. Grab the flame elementium and leave. So yeah, even though I am making a lot of mistakes. Oh, that's filthy forest. Habit. It's interesting that they're in the same spot on the uh on the map. I'm sure it's not on purpose. Got Dark Surge. If we get one, that'll be great. We can just pop it. If we get a boss, then we can potentially get another 10 flame elementium. Statue of Might. Definitely don't want to do that. It's pretty nuts that you can just clear this so easily. That's terrible. That's pretty terrible. That's terrible. Wow. <sighs> Gosh. <coughs> Not getting very lucky with this one. I think this is a good one, though. If we get that um, multiplier, that'll be awesome. On the fuel. And as long as it's not ember, it will be epic. I would love to pop a fuel and get, um, you know, 50 or so flame elementium from one node. That would be pretty sweet. Maybe after this one I'll pause until we get to the city and see what we get. Alright, I'll pause it there. I'll see you at the city. Not horrible from the cube, unless that's absolute garbage. Hopefully it shows up, yep. See if this give it, gives anything. Probably won't. Come on, just finish. And flame sand. Woohoo. So we'll quickly kill this guy and see what he drops. Unless he's just a pain in the ass to kill. Uh, he's not dying that fast. Hmm. The other one dies faster than this guy. Kids are in bed, that's why I'm not talking very loudly. Apologies if uh, I'm very quiet. Yeah, 
this guy takes forever to kill compared to uh, void lands. Kind of disappointing. But we've got one beginning, one beacon. Let's see how much the beacons are worth. Uh, what was it? This one. Still five. So it's still fly, five flame elementium for killing him. And so seven flame elementium. It's pretty decent. And you get a random drop. Mine was this. And tenacity. Eh, not that great. What was this worth? funny anyway and I see I see I see that's the start that's right here that's pretty uh, crazy and I can see why you would skip so we got unlucky with the last one confirm we'll place one there to connect those um, we still have to connect that so we'll just do one there um, and unfortunately, that's it. So we miss this one. Uh, we miss this, whatever that was. Um, it's a shame. I would like to get that as well. Um, but, anyway, that doesn't even connect everything. That's annoying. Uh, because I need to connect this. So, I'm going to... Why am I even trying to connect that? That doesn't make any sense at all. So, that connects to that. That connects down here. And I need to do that to connect to the boss. That's a bit ugly. Um, but, let's do it. See what we get. Hopefully, we get a nice loot explosion. Uh, I didn't really take much notice, so I need to go up and then back down to the right. <clears throat> uh, this video is already getting on, so I might just pause at the loot. Is this the good one? Yeah, it's fine, fuel. Ten. It's pretty lucky, I think. Where's the other one? Is this the other fuel? Oh, I don't have a key. Give me a key. There we go. Fine ember. Ooh. Boo. Was that? Oh, no. I think that was it. Rip. Clearly, I'm out of practice. Um, so, a common fuel here. And then the legendary one is obviously the orange. Please don't be embers. Ugh. It's embers. That's disappointing. Hour. Alrighty, see if the boss is kind. Um, lots of pages, which is nice. Even if the loot sucks, as long as you're getting pages, that's a good candle, and I'm full, of course I am. CDR, sealed mana. Ooh. Wow, that's three half-decent ones. That's crazy. Anyway, let's clear out and see what we get. I can't remember if I've had anything good, so I just recycled a lot of it instead. Grab those. Uh, I might just smash some of these together. See if we get anything good. Uh, CDR. Saw a couple of CDRs here. Movement speed, CDR. CDR, CDR. That's a lot of CDRs. That's pretty cool. Smash these. What we get? Every use of a non-main skill will make the next main skill gain plus three. Okay. Kind of whatever. Um, I had more CDR ones, so let's do that. Smash these together. Okay. 
that's interesting. Uh, I've got any more CDRs. Oh, what's this one? Nope. That's I read that wrong. I thought it was uh, sealed manner. Sealed manner. Thirty percent crit damage if you have defeated an enemy. That's pretty nice. Oh. Ah, oh, it's tier three. Ugh, that went down. I kept the tier two though, so that's nice. Um, okay, let's smash these two together. See what we get. Additional max damage and two percent chance to deal. <laughs> wow. Oh well, that's a nothing. It's just 16% additional max damage while standing still. And regen. Don't know if I use it, but it's pretty cool. Regen. I've got another regen to use. Yep. It's got a tier 0. It'll probably remove that, I reckon. Tier 1, tier 1. So we get standing still, two tier zeros, that's interesting. Because that's, ugh, that's horrible. Since I only deal physical damage. Might be good for elemental. That's actually pretty good for elemental. And I think that's probably it. Yeah. Alrighty. So that's my welcome back to uh, Torchlight. Not the greatest. However, I really do like that map. It is very linear, very fast. And uh, if you get it at the start there, I, I guess, unless you want to go through this bit, you could do a super fast, um, oh, what is going, what? No, screw that. I don't know what just happened, whether my brain just malfunctioned, but it would have been nice if uh, I had just done that properly. So let's get this one. So we have that one. Got one to go. That's it, 200 more pages, and I finally unlock Endless. Anyway, that will be my next video, and I'll see you there. Thanks very much.